Hi, I'm Jen. I just turned 59, which means that I am now staring down 60, which is an age I never pictured for myself. Now, I don't have kids of my own, but I do have three nieces who are all in their early 20s and late teens. And the desire to be grown up and adult and free to do whatever they want is very strong in them. So I thought I would put together some of the hard truths that I've found out as I get older. The first hard truth is that life is not a meritocracy. Sure, the harder you work, the luckier you seem to get. But in general, we don't always get treated fairly and we don't receive the rewards we're due. There's always the lazy, incompetent guy who gets the promotion instead of you and the love of your life chooses someone else. For me, I was let go from my job of 22 years for no real reason, no fanfare. It's just they were reorganizing and they wanted everyone to be working from the same office. I said no to relocating to Texas from Vancouver Island. I'm sure Texas is wonderful, but all of my friends and family, my life is here in Canada and I didn't want to move. And so I was gone. I was a good worker. I was well liked by my peers. I was a long and loyal employee of the company, but none of that mattered. Now I'm not saying to turn into a backstabbing weasel because that's how you get ahead. I'm just saying don't put a lot of faith that your hard work and loyalty will be reciprocated or rewarded as it should be. Definitely put your best foot forward, but do it for yourself. Not that you're going to be impressing anyone and you'll be awarded a gold star. The number two hard truth that you learn as you get older is that you have to ask for something, whatever the thing is. You have to ask for it if you want it or else the answer will always be no. This is especially true if you're trying to build a YouTube channel. Ask people to like and subscribe, please. Don't wait for them to figure it out on their own and don't extend subtle hints because you don't want to seem crass or crude. If you want a raise, ask for one. If you want a promotion, ask for one. If you have a health concern, ask your doctor about it. Don't beat around the bush or avoid it or hope that someone notices and things just happen for you. You have to make it happen yourself. You have to ask. Advocate for yourself because nobody else will do it. And I'll get to the rest of the hard truths in just a minute. But first, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Vessi. The new Quartzide Classic is a court-inspired shoe that keeps your look sleek and simple with a high aesthetic vibe. And I'm finding they're perfect for blending style and comfort into my weekend adventures here in the Pacific Northwest. Taking the dog out in my Vessies means that sudden weather changes don't faze me and Skye and I can walk the entire boardwalk in comfort, rain or shine. Don't believe me? Yeah, a couple of puddles is one thing. But what about when we take a break from walk and start to play? I live near a river and it's Skye's favorite place to play. Well, as you can see, my Vessies stand up to what should be a complete and full soaking. Still dry. They're perfect for navigating life in the city too. I can be a tourist in my own hometown with ease. No heavy clunky boots here. These are easy to wear and I feel like I'm walking on air. My Vessies go everywhere with me and I go there in perfect confidence, knowing their classic vintage vibe will blend seamlessly into any situation. So step up your city style with Vessies Courtside Classics. Find yours at the link below, vessie.com slash silver solo, or scan the QR code on your screen. Start your journey with Vessi and get an automatic 15% off your first order at checkout. And thanks again to Vessi for sponsoring this video. I honestly love my Vessies. Now the third hard truth, regret is always worse than failure. The hard truth is that you will always regret the things you did not do more than the things you did do. I know Mark Twain has some sort of a, a quote or a saying out there that is very, very similar to this. Hindsight is both fascinating and cruel. I mean, sure, my haircut from the 80s is definitely regrettable, but I regret more that I didn't listen to myself enough. I didn't go to forestry school. I didn't buy that little lakeside cottage for a hundred grand in my 30s. 
The regrettable stuff that I did do is fairly small and minor in the grand scheme of things. The regrettable stuff that I did not do, that tends to be bigger, more impactful, more regrettable. If I had known it in my younger years, I would have said yes and let the consequences be darned far more often than I did. The fourth hard truth, and this one is still difficult today for me, is that sometimes there is no right choice. There's no right answer. Sometimes the outcome will be bad no matter which choice you make, but you still have to make a decision. As adults, we make the best decisions we can based on our experience, our knowledge, and the circumstances at the time. That means that we tend to make better decisions as we grow older because we have more experience and we have more knowledge. We're not computers dealing with ones and zeros. We're human beings and we're weighing pros and cons. It's a process of give and take. On one side are the must-haves and on the other side are things that you're willing to compromise on. And compromise almost always feels like losing unless you look at it as getting the best possible deal out of an impossible situation. My number five hard truth is that change is inevitable. I've often said in my videos previous to this one that when I was going through something difficult, I always told myself that I could, I could gut this out because in six months, everything would be different. Everything would change. That always turned out to be true. Always. And while that's something that's reassuring for me, that if I can gut it out for six months, everything will be changed, that kind of change can be scary and chaotic for people who rely on routine and consistency in their lives. But the world is constantly evolving. New technologies are being developed, new discoveries, new policies, and change affects everyone differently. The only aspects of change that we all share are that we can't avoid it, and we can't stop it. You have to adapt and roll with it. It's not change that's the difficult part. It's the way that we react to change that makes everything difficult. People who refuse to change, who stay stuck and flailing against it, those are the people who suffer the most from change. People who embrace change and use it to grow and succeed, those people suffer the least. The number six hard truth is you shouldn't always take the easy way. We've all had something to do and exactly zero motivation to do it. You know you need to do it, but instead of buckling down and getting it done, you waste a huge amount of time thinking of every possible way to get around doing it. Why? Because not doing the thing is a lot easier than doing the thing. I admit that I prefer doing things the easy way. Smarter, not harder. That's what I say. I'll look for a shortcut. If I can't find one, I'll procrastinate. It's human nature. Everyone does it. But difficult and challenging situations can also teach us a lot. You know, the building character thing. If you always procrastinate about doing something difficult until someone else does it for you or the thing just goes away on its own, then you're doing yourself a disservice. You'll never learn how to handle tough situations on your own. You'll never learn that you can handle tough situations on your own. And there are times when someone isn't going to be around to step in and do the thing for you. And there will be situations in which the thing does not just disappear. Learn to DIY instead of taking the easy way. The more you do it, the more confident you'll be next time a difficult task comes up. And bonus, that task will be easier because you have confidence. The number seven hard truth is called the five by five rule, or if it's not going to matter in five years, don't spend five minutes being upset by it. I either heard or read that uh, in my 40s when I was going through some tough times and it really helped me put things into perspective. Regina Brett also has a similar quote. She says, if we all threw our problems into a pile and we could see everyone else's problems, we'd take ours back. If you were to look at your life and compare it to most others and ask yourself that question, 
most of the time the answer will be no. Meaning, no, I shouldn't be thinking this problem or this setback is as important as I do. Putting a big picture spin on a difficult situation can really help with perspective. My number eight hard truth is somebody is always going to have more. There's always going to be somebody bigger, smarter, better looking, more athletic, stronger or richer than you. It goes on ad nauseum. I don't know how else to put this, but just like being top dog at work or the fastest sprinter in the world or the last immortal Highlander, <laughs> there can only be one. If you're the one, congratulations. But the rest of us, all the rest of us, are going to have to deal with the hard truth that they cannot have the same things that their neighbors have. Trying to keep up with the Joneses is a losing battle because there will always be someone ahead of you in the game. But if I may, if you're watching this video of mine right now, thank you, appreciate it. But it means that you have access to an internet connection and something to watch the video on and you have spare time to watch it in. And so I'm gonna tell you another hard truth, a bonus one. There's someone in this world with less than you. As long as you have a roof over your head and food to eat and clothes to keep you warm, there will always be someone who has less than you. Don't stop striving to improve your situation, but stop comparing yourself unfavorably to the next person over. My number nine hard truth that you realize as you grow older is that you and only you are responsible for your happiness. There's nobody else who's responsible for it, nobody else in charge. It's just you. There are factors outside of our control which can affect our happiness. Think disease and natural disasters, the vagaries of the stock market, and even where you live. But if you find yourself saying, I'll be happy when, well, then you're letting chance drive the bus. It's as if you're putting off being happy. You can't be happy right now because when hasn't happened yet. You're allowing circumstance to dictate when or even if you'll be happy. Spoiler alert, you may not get that raise. You may not meet your soulmate. The Maple Leafs have not won a Stanley Cup since 1967 which was when I was two years old, almost my entire lifetime. If I had waited around for the Maple Leafs to win another Stanley Cup before I was happy, I would be a miserable wretch right now. Don't offload responsibility for your happiness to someone else or to some circumstance. Make yourself happy right now, even if it's just in small ways. Wake up in the morning and be glad for the day. Thanks so much for watching and please, as always, leave me a comment. I know that there are other hard truths out there that some of you may have learned that I haven't learned yet or maybe I've forgotten them. But anyhow, I'll see you next Wednesday.